Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Morrowind. So last time, we delivered Itamira's notes to Renis, and then Renis told us to kill Tashpi Ashibail, which is a hell of a name, who is a necromancer. Renis wants us to kill them, and, well, no shit, and she lives in Margan. Now, we can figure out how to get to Margan, because we were given no directions whatsoever, we were just told the name. Uh, I have figured out since then how to get there. Also, apparently, uh, if you bought the physical version of Morrowind, it would come with a big world map that you could open up, and you could be like, oh, Margan's over there, and then you know roughly where you're going. So, essentially, I should have that world map, but because, you know, I bought the download version on Steam on the PC, I don't have it. So there's going to be moments like that where I may have to sort of go Google a world map or something, but for now, again, I have at least figured out how to get to Morgan. Then we met someone called Louis Buchamp outside the Alrune Mage's Guild. Apparently, he used to he used Magicka and some patched together Dreamer technology to make his own airship, which sounds very cool. And then commissioned a crew to fly north to the frozen isles of Solstheim in search of a powerful magic item. Turns out it's an amulet that basically makes people fall in love with you. He wants it so he can get some poon. We figured that out. Uh, since it says Solstheim, I'm assuming it's DLC. No one actually confirmed or denied that on the last episode, but you guys did give me a lot of in important tips and whatnots. I'm gonna go over some of those very quickly because some of them I feel like you do need to know as the viewer as well. Uh, also, as you can see from the pile of crap on the ground in front of me, let me just show you here very quickly. It's like two Orcish Greaves, uh, Akira, some boots, and possibly some other stuff. Basically, I went back to the uh, Dream, no, Daedric Ruins that we were in and looted all that crap. This is still here. I sold most of it though. Uh, basically, the scamp ran out of money, and I didn't want to sell this to the blacksmith in town for, like, you know, a fraction of the press. So for now, I've left it there. There's also a couple of weapons there. There's, like, at least, probably, actually, probably about seven and a half grand, maybe even more than that's worth of money just there. Yes. And, that was weird. Go away, orc person. You're freaking me out. Now, again, I sold most of it, but that's what's left over. I had 1,741 gold, and we now have... 6,948, so we made, what, 5,000, uh, wait, where the hell is the number, 1741, <laughs> so we made 5,207, if I'm counting that correctly, I believe so, so the point is we got a lot more money now, also last episode we trained a bunch of skills, stuff like that, speaking of which, we're actually level, uh, ready to level up now, and that's the other reason that we haven't sold this, is because, the scam's money does refresh every 24 hours, so I could have waited around for 24 hours, but that would have leveled us up. So let's actually do that very quickly now, just so we can get the level up before I forget. Oh, that's right, you can't do it because we're in a town. Son of a bitch, that's annoying. Uh, and also I was told that there is indeed a night eye spell. So we should probably check out the mages guilds and see if we can actually buy that. Uh, so let's actually do that before anything else, because... That way we won't have to run out of torches so much, and you guys might actually be able to see, so... I'm very happy we're gonna see if anyone here is selling it. If not, then we'll go between the other mages' guilds. No, that's not. I am pretty damn sure of that. Let's try checking with, uh... I'm listening. Galbadir, you do not actually sell any spells. What the hell? Step right up, Jason McGrizzle, and look over my collection of scrolls. How about the flashy and cheap Tal Dam Scorcher to burn your foes? Or undo these unhinging to open stuck chests and doors. If you go in somewhere dangerous, try some scrolls of vitality and vigor to restore your health and fatigue. And if you're in real trouble, you want to almasivi intervention or divine intervention to transport you instantly to the nearest temple or nearest imperial shrine. We already know that they do that, but that would have actually been handy information, you know, about 15 episodes ago. But thanks. So we could bother with you. Eh? How much weight do we actually have right now? Still quite a bit, but, you know, it, it goes quickly. So, you do not have what we're looking for. I don't think this chick does either. She just likes walking into plants, as we know. Uh, doesn't look like any of that's going to be night eye to me. We'll try the orc. Do you have a night eye spell, perhaps? I don't think so. Cucumber disease. Oh, on other. I thought it said or other. Um, calm creature, yeah, I don't think we need any of that either. What are you training? Restoration, mysticism, alteration. So, because restoration is one of our major skills, I believe if I pumped a bunch of levels into this, we could actually level up our character really quickly. Someone sort of advised me against that because it seems like essentially if we did that, we wouldn't get the multipliers upon leveling up. So we're going to try and avoid that. Can I rest in these beds? I mean, I assume so. Can we... Is this safe? I hope so. 
You have ascended to level 5. Everything you do is just a little bit easier. More instinctive, more satisfying. It is as though you had suddenly developed keen senses and instincts. Well, that's never going to happen. We definitely want more strength. Definitely want more willpower. And I think I'm kind of torn between endurance and intelligence. What does intelligence do again? Maximum magicka. Yeah, we'll go with that. Maybe we'll get endurance next level or something. I, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Oh, damn, five willpower. That's freaking awesome. I like that. That should really help out a great deal. Right, so uh, I should probably check you as well. I don't think... Oh, no, you do sell spells. Um, so that's right. We're looking for Night Eye. Ah, you sell Levitates. I don't... Oh, you sell Water Breathing as well. It's very cheap. We're going to buy that. I don't think we had one. I hope not. Uh, Lightning Shield, Levitate... Let me check. I know we had to Levitate Potion, but I don't think we had a spell. Oh, man, we have a lot of spells already. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but apparently you can shift and left-click, I think, to delete a spell, so... At some point, we'll do that when we don't need the old ones anymore, but for now, I kind of want at least most of these. You know what? I don't think we have a Levitate spell, so we're just... Three blessings, Sarah. Exactly. And don't call me Sarah. Levitates. Calm Humanoid, Calm Creature, Fire Shield, Charming Touch. Uh, yep, also does not seem to have what we're looking for. Ah, he's got some summons though. Skeletal Minion and Least Bone Walker. Least? I guess it's kind of like lesser? Sounds strange. Uh, you I also do sell spells. Hmm. You would think if it's going to be Night Eye, it would be kind of obvious. Like, within the name. But you never know, some of these do have some, like... Poet's whim. Resist blight de- <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, what about you? You don't sell spells. Okay, well I guess we, we're gonna have to go to another guild then. Good friend, this is an honor. <laughs> well, alright then. I think the cat lady's coming on to me. Okay, so travel and we checked out- We checked out Caldera, we checked out Vivek, I think? Um, Aldrune, I think we did go to, or something. I know we went to Aldrune, but I don't know if we went through the Silt Strider or what. I think it was the Silt Strider, actually. Also, do you need something? what up with your face? I mean, it's a pretty well-made face, but you just, you look very different to a lot of people. We'll put it that way. You look surprisingly human. Button of Sin, blah, blah, blah. Night Eye. Okay, perfect. 20 points for 30 seconds. Oh, so there's a point system in Night Eye as well? Maybe that's like the distance that it goes or something. Interesting. Uh, spell drink. Uh, someone told me to try and get um, absorb health. I don't know if we already have one. I don't think so, but apparently that's really good. So we'll see if we can get one of those. But you know, we've got what we came for. May I help you? Uh, if we can find the spell maker, it would be handy as well. I mean, we know of one in the other guild, but I'd rather just do it here. Greetings. You are very tall, sir. Do you require? Bada, and training. What are you training in? I'm sorry, just the grizzle. My special services are a privilege of higher rank. Fuck you, skink in tree shade. Yes, son like? of a. Greetings. I like your Bell Biv DeVoe slash Will Smith haircut, sir. It's very 80s. Very 80s indeed. Okay, you are a spellmaker. Feather, Third Barrier, Vivix Kiss. That's Water Breathing. Uh, we already have Water Breathing. We just bought it. I don't know if we bought Water Walking, so we'll buy that one. Again, it's cheap, so it's not a huge deal, even if we are kind of duplicating Drain Health. That's what we want, right? Or Absorb Health? Is that the same thing? It's probably not. It's probably different. I don't bloody know. Um, sure. Right, so let's try and make a good Night Eye that we can actually use and not... I guess we want it on Self? Be kind of strange if we didn't. So we can put it up to 100 points. Duration. Okay, so let's go for the... Holy shit. We'll do it for, like, what? Um. Oh, damn. Look at the spell chance. Well, I guess I have it on 100. Let's put it down for a second here. We'll put the duration to, like, 90 seconds or a minute and a half. And the spell chance is still kind of crap. And magnitude will go for, like, 30. And I guess maybe we'll put this down to a minute then instead. Sure, that's not a horrible... You know, it's spell chance, I guess. The maximum magnitude cannot be less than the maximum. Oh, the minimum. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's between this and this. That's, yeah. Okay, that lowers the chance even more. Son of a bitch, man. Ugh. All right, we'll try a magnitude like 25 or something. It's only like a 50% chance. 
Uh, we'll try 20 for now then. Just so we can actually cast it and we'll see what it's like. That's good enough, I guess. Uh, we'll call that... Uh, 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 all seeing. Aye. There you go. I'm trying to come up with, you know, some kind of cool name, sort of Morrowindish style. Gangnam style. There's cash on the table there, I want that. Alright, so there's all seeing guys, so it's gonna be at the top there. That's actually also probably a good idea. Why do we now have a 75% chance? I can spare I'm confused by this. Let's quick save, and, you know, just in case it kills people or something. Uh... Well, I guess it's not dark here, so it's not really helpful. I figured it would have sort of like a weird, um... Like a purple filter on it or something, kind of like it does in Oblivion. Maybe even Skyrim as well, I don't know. But, uh, we got what we came for for the most part. Let's have I'm a quick look to see if away. anyone else is selling... Um... An Absorb HP spell. You also have Levitates. Holy shit, that's expensive. So, four spell drinker, Shadow Weave, Crying Eye, Poison Bloom, Hide. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll buy that. Right. So, the bloody hell, what are we gonna do next? That's right, we were gonna go to, um. Actually, let me check my notes very quickly, just to make sure I'm not missing anything, because I feel like there was a couple more things I wanted to do before we set off. Uh, I mentioned the scrolls, we've leveled up. Uh, apparently, someone told me, I think it. That was weird. Someone told me that uh, the whole house Hlalu, uh Redoran, or what were they even called? It was like Telvani, Hlalu, and was it Redoran the other one? I don't remember the third one. But apparently to get information on those you can ask the town guard. So we're going to try and remember to do that when we're in Aldrun before we leave to go to Molag Ma, if that's the name of the damn place. Uh, Ma Gan, rather. Because, yeah, you can actually travel from the Silk Strider where we ended the last episode to Margan. So, that's how I accidentally figured out how to get there. So, yeah, we need to go there. We need to ask the guard. And, yeah. Okay, so, I think we are ready. So, let's go do that. So, we need to travel back. I think it's you. Yes. Let's go back to... Actually, we can go straight to Alrune. Handy. Very handy, indeed. And, yeah, I do want to test out this Night Eye. Then again... God damn check if it's sinking. I really need to fix that. Then again, wasn't this place really dark? Some of these places were. It seems like very well lit now. Then again, uh, wouldn't it have worn off by now? I don't know. Let's try it again. Oh, you know, we could fail casting the spell. Yeah, okay, so it definitely made it brighter around where we are. Okay. And yeah, I just, I don't know what the whole, the point system is. It must be the distance. I can't think of anything else. So how do we leave this place? Is it this door? No. What's in here? Interesting. Who might you be? Do you have something to say out Oh, you're the person with the Triple H forehead. I remember you. You ain't got uh Oh god, stuck on the door. Go ain't got anything to talk to you about right now. So let's I guess we need to go up here to get outside, maybe? This looks like it might be an entrance. Do you need something? Nope. What the hell is this guy doing? Speak. Himla. Pleased to meet you, Jason McGrizzle. I'm Himla Mage. Welcome to Eld Rune. What can I do for you? Uh, you're a spellmaker, apparently. So you sell anything I want. Spot lights. Ooh. So there is a light spell. Sweet. So what the hell's the difference between that and Night Eye? I mean, I guess we'll buy it and try, and we'll, we'll make one? I, I suppose? So we want itself. Let's go for like 25-25 again, I suppose. Just to sort of simplify it, and we'll go for 60 seconds again. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, don't put it up that much. Good lord. Let's just use the arrow. There you go. So it seems to be the same percentage chance, so I guess they must use the same school of magic. Would make sense. Uh, so lights. Uh, let there be, eh, eh, be lights. There you go. Okay, so we'll check out the light spell as well. F G H I J K L. Let there be lights. I said, cast it, you son of a bitch. So do I have like a, a light thing following me? Maybe. Oh, it just seems like my character gives off light. Well, so we look. Yes. Yeah, Strangely, look at that. Look in the distance. It's like a light bulb's turning on. This is weird, but the point is, this will probably solve our, you know, darkness problem. Be well, it seems really now. bright in here now. Holy crap. Go ahead. Go ahead, I'm listening. Hey, we found the door, finally, Jesus Christ. Ah, hello. Did you want something? And there's that uh, creepy crab claw thing over there. So yeah, again, I believe... And yeah, I noticed this as well, when there's like, um... What now? 
a bunch of wind or a tornado or whatever's going on, it actually does push the NPCs around. It's kind of awesome. And we want to ask you about one of the houses, didn't we? House Redoran. Oh, it was Redoran. Good work, Brain. If you want to join House Redoran, speak with Niminda in the Redoran Council Hall. Okay, it's not as much information as I was hoping for, but we'll try and remember that name. If nothing else, it's at least on camera. What up, buddy? Get illuminated in my lights. Where would you like to go? He's shielding his face from my light. It's not the wind, it's from my lights. He's like, oh, God. Are you an angel? Yes, yes, I am. Let's go. So, yeah, this is what I'm saying. I was using this to travel back to Balmora, and I was like, oh, look. Margan's on there. Again, I'm going to have to get, like, the world map to hand, like, print it off or something, but we'll worry about that when we actually need to. Same low price. I'll bet, buddy. I'll bet. And I guess time passes in the game whilst you're traveling because our light spell's not working anymore. So let's try Night Eye before we, um... 20 points for 30 seconds. Sure, good enough, I guess. Just to see what it... to its like. I can't really tell much of a difference. The light spell definitely seems, you know... Uh, much more effective for what we're trying to do here. I did... I, God damn it! Thank you. Yeah, because at least it illuminates what's near us. And again, the the, uh, the magnitude or whatever must be the distance. So we're in Morgan. Let's have a quick reminder of what the bloody hell we're doing here. We're looking for a necromancer, I know that. Do we have any clue about where they are? She lives in Morgan, that's all we know. I guess we can probably ask, like, this person. Oh my god! Come here. Imperial law. Um, necromancy. Perfect. Tashpi is not a necromancer. Who have you been talking to? Right. Um, maybe we can bribe this guy? Yes, we can. Ah, oh, that went down, really? Son of a bitch, man. <laughs> you cannot purchase honor with gold, badass. Isn't that my class name? Why is he calling me that? <laughs> that's kind of awesome. I guess that's if, you're cool, if your class is like a mage or something, he would say, like, you cannot purchase honor with gold, mage. But no, he just called me a badass, which, um, it's just bloody hilarious to me. Morgan Ashirari Zema Rasuru's Hut. Well, we have to check that out, don't we, really? What, what the hell kind of name is that? It's a random sack. Let's put our hands away, because, you know, we'll have someone's face off. What up, Ashirari Zema Rasuru? Rot roll, Reggie. Welcome to Morgan. Jason McGrizzle and Dave. Morgan is the... Site of the Holy Tower Shrine, favorite place of pilgrimage for the Temple Faithful. Can I help you find someone in particular? Yes, you can. Um, Mancy Andus is the publican of Andus Trade House and Miles Glorious's famous questing swordsman and monster slaying. Uh, it's taking his lodging there. Well, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that. And you don't seem to know about the person I'm looking for. Maybe I can ask you about necromancy? No, necromancy who you've been talking to. We'll try bribing you then, I suppose? I, I, I don't know. I do not know. 55. Shit, that took it really far down. Lame. God damn it, these people suck. Uh, is there anything we can do in here? Well, we could rob you. Do you want to turn around so I can rob you? Yeah, you do. It's probably going to be hard to do with this light spell on me, but hey, at least we can see. Let's whip out our journeyman lockpick. I thought we have a spell for this, don't we? Um... I don't remember what it's called. Probably that one. Yep, only 21% chance. You know what? We'll give it a try. You fail casting the spell. You fail casting the spell. You fail casting the spell. And guess what? Oh, it didn't fail that time. Well, fair enough then. And we got five gold for our trouble. Grab him! Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna leave and just hope that uh, no one tries to arrest me. I mean, we seem to have mostly got away with it. So again, where is this person gonna be that we're looking for? Yeah, let's get the light spell back out, because I can't see shit. And apparently we don't have enough magicka to cast it. Well, fair enough then. So someone's hut, you're another god, you are a random person? Um, again, are you here on pilgrimage? Most visitors uh, here come to see the Holy Temple Shrine. How about you? Do you anything about necromancy, buddy? Oh my god! We'll try bribing you as well, I suppose? It's not really working that well. 61. Let's try it now. Nope. Let's try it one more time, I suppose. I feel like this isn't going to work now, but yeah. Alright, fuck it. 
Yeah, you keep getting pushed. Oh, look who we found. We found their huts. It's safe before we go in and, you know, get murdered by the necromancer. Right. So, where are you? Hello? I heard you're a necromancer. Make it quick, Outlander. Oh, God damn it! I don't believe I've seen a dog. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, tell me about the necromancy that you're clearly doing. Necromancy? I am not a necromancer. Who said I was a, a necromancer? Renesathries or not your concern? I'm gonna say Renesathries. Oh, I see. I refuse to join the Mage's Guild. I chose to practice healing among my people, away from the politics of the Guild, since I was a Velothi and not well-born like this Renis. Well, it's not important now. Maybe I know a way out of the situation. <laughs> Tell me more or die, Necromancer! I'm kind of tempted to go with that. And we go kami hami ha on you. Sure, tell me more. Uh, blah de blah If Rennes has held a grudge this long, it would be best for me to leave the mains afford the mains land. There are plenty of towns that could use a healer. Tell Rennes Athreys that I am dead. I will leave Vardenfell and Rennes need never know. I agree I will let you go. You cannot escape justice. You know what? Fuck it. You can't escape justice. Die, <laughs> Spirit of my ancestors protect me. Here I come to clobber you. Wow, you are, uh, you got like no goddamn chance. Yeah, you pirouette. Oh, hi, buddy. You're a spooky ghost. I murdered the spooky ghost. I am the greatest. Let's get rid of the corpse. We're getting rid of the evidence of our murder. So what do you have? Some gold, much potions, cucumber disease, cure blight disease, cure poison. You know what? I would say this was worth murdering you. You gotta think of it this way. We also got some combat experience. But yeah, I'm assuming this person is telling the truth. I'll be honest with you. We usually pick the, you know, non-aggressor option so far in Morrowind. I just, I just wanted to murder someone. I've, I've just been hankering for a spankering, okay? Right, so, uh, mm, I don't know that any of these are going to give us any skills, they're usually pretty damned expensive, nope. Okay, well, is there anything in here that might give us clues about if they were actually a necromancer? I didn't mean to open that. Two common rings, you know what, not really, excuse me, not really what I'm looking for. Mm, common shirts. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think they were. I think they were innocent, but, you know, they're dead now, so... Such is life. Lost jug. There weren't any potions or anything, were there? Oh, there's maize. We'll take that. Or oh, Matsy. Maybe it's pronounced maize still? I don't bloody know. Oh, yeah, well, we've, uh... We've achieved our goal and murdered them. Uh... What the hell? Oh, okay. So it hasn't actually updated and said, like, I murdered this person. So I guess we just have to go back to Rennes now. I assume so? Sure! Okay, well, let's go do that. Lander. Okay, after much failing to recall and resting to get my magic back several times, we have finally arrived. I probably could have ran here quicker by use of the Silver Strider, but you know, whatever. Uh, did the citizens of Margan still have to worry about necromancy? You've killed Tashby. Good work, Jason McGrizzle. These scrolls should help you deal with any other necromancers you find. Two scrolls of Elemental Burst Fire and two scrolls of the Fourth Barrier. Fascinating. Can I advance him right now? Congratulations, you are now with Jason McGrizzle, the Magician. You're a wizardary. Strive ever forward. You know I'll try. And what are my duties? I believe the Mage's Guild has been infiltrated by a Telvani, a Telvani spy. Interesting. Go to the Guild Hall is in Aldrun. That's where I just were, you son of a bitch. Vivek and... Cedrith Mora. That's probably going to be hard to find, unless we can teleport there. Well, then again, I don't remember that being an option. I'm sure there's a spy. When you find the spy, do not take any action. Report back to me. So we got to do some investigative work. Right. Okay. So, just think of this logically. It's a video game. So it's probably going to be the last place we look, which is probably going to be the last one listed. So I'm guessing this spy is going to be in Sadrith Mora. So let's go to the teleporter, see if we can go to Sadrith Mora. Though, again, I don't remember that being an option. Because that's where I'm thinking they're going to be. And I don't remember anyone too suspicious from the other guilds. But I mean, we didn't, we weren't looking for anyone suspicious. So maybe there is, I don't know. So, uh, oh, you totally can. Was that always there? I don't know. The Wolverine Hall, eh? See, I'm guessing this is where the spy is going to be. Oh, we totally did go here. In fact, this is where we just were. We bought a bunch of spells here. I think it's you! Please, by all means. 
I'm listening. Can I ask you about a spy? Are you a spy, sir? Do you have any spies? Yes. I suspect there is at least one. I do not know who or where. Or Cedric Morrow may be the obvious targets. We're try looking in Vivek. That's where your decisions are actually made. See, Vivek also did spring to mind because it's the biggest some. place. At least I what think so. Maybe it's this Bell Biff DeVoe son of a bitch. Are you a spy, sir? What do you got to say? Major's Guild is very strict with its admission rules. Who would... We would never accept a Telvani spy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll ask all of them, see if they say anything different. I don't know of any spies in the Major's Guild. Well, you would say that if you what were a spy, wouldn't you? What can I do for your friend? You're ginger. There's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, it's just a, an observation. I don't know of any spies. I have a feeling they're all going to say pretty much the same thing now. Seems like only a couple of them had anything different to say. Yeah, okay. So I guess that was a clue about Vivek. Again, unless he's lying, unless it's him. I think it's him. It's totally you. What about you? Uh, we can't ask you either. Well, fair enough then. Let's go to Vivek. Oh man, this place is probably going to be bloody huge, isn't it? By all means, I'm listening. Can I ask you? Oh, maybe I can. Uh, yep. Tovani compound. Right. What about a smile? Talk to Trebonius. I vaguely remember him sort of being down. Isn't it this guy? Yep. Greetings, Dunmo. How may I? Help I don't remember him boy being bored. You know, I expected him to turn around and have some hair. That was uh, slightly shocking to me. Okay. Um. Let there be lights. I said, let there be lights. Son of a bitch. Okay. Now we can see what we're doing. Look at your pretty, pretty face. Where are you going? You come back here. Okay. When I do for you, magician, tell me about the spies. You, why no, Jesse McGrizzle? There are no Telvani spies here, and I would know if there were. I'm the Archmage, after all. Tyram Gadar, my Dunmer advisor, keeps an eye out for spies and that sort of thing. Oh, gee, I wonder if Tyram Gadar is the spy. Because, classic case, right? You're like, yeah, this guy's going to protect me from assassins, but that guy was the assassin the entire time. So, you know, he's clearly the spy. Tell me about him. He's been of... Immense assistance, Jason McGrizzle. He helps to see the dumber side of every decision I make. And he came with the highest credentials. Okay. Uh, I'm sure I have them somewhere around here. Ah, oh, yes, here you go, Jason McGrizzle. A letter from Okato himself. Okato, why do I know that name? Yes, dude, okay, so we've got the credentials. Let's check them out. Is this them? Yep. To the esteemed Archmage Trebonius, the man delivering this letter is one... Tyram Gadar. Though a Dunma, he was raised in the Imperial Province. I recommend him as an advisor on the politics of the Dunma and Vardenfell. Sincerely, a Kato Imperial Battle Mage. So we're probably looking for a Kato, I guess? Again, I swear I know that name. So maybe we've met them. Let's try checking the journal. Gave me the credentials. They are obvious forgeries. Even Okato's name is misspelled. See, where was a Kato? Because I, I swear we met that person, and why can't I remember? Son of a bitch. Um, we already asked about that. Credentials, maybe we can say that they're forgeries? I've already given you the credentials, they should assure you... Okay. Shit. So where's... Wasn't there a guy called, like, Chancellor or Kato or something like that? Or Counselor or... I think it was Chancellor. So where would they be? Why don't I remember where they are? Shit, that's really annoying. Hello. Please. By all means, I'm listening. You look better in the light, don't you, baby? Um. Yeah. All right. So let's check the journal. See, we can't even click on that name. Though actually, uh, if we go to the options and go to O, we might have something about Okato here. No. No, we don't. Son of a bitch. Tyrone Gadar. Where is Tyrone Gadar? Maybe we need to find them? Do we have anything in here about them? We do. Doesn't help me. You know, the whole options thing isn't really that great, so I, wish, I would assume he's going to be around here somewhere, right? He's, it's his advisor. Maybe it's that guy right next to him. Isn't there a dark elf here? Yeah, it's you! Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. I don't believe I've seen a dark elf. Okay, whatever. Uh, credentials. Yes, those are my credentials. What about them? These credentials look suspicious. If you don't stop making baseless accus accusations, I'll be forced to make a complaint to Trebonius. Right. Can I ask you about Akato, maybe? 
Not seeing that option. We get along rather well. He is always willing to listen to my advice. Tovani Spy. Tovani Spy. Not that I know of. I'm a special advisor to Archmage Bonius on Dunma issues. You can check my credential. Okay, um... Shit. I remember where the Sakata guy is. I may have to Google this. I'm not going to lie to you. Greetings, um, How may I help you? I guess we'll try again. Nope. All right, so we need to figure out where this Okato guy is. It wouldn't surprise me if he's, like, in this place right here somewhere, very close to me. But, um... I, I, I'm, I'm, I remember the name. I just don't remember where they were. All right, I'm going to look this up, and uh, I'll bring you back in a second here. Okay, so I looked it up. Turns out we actually just have to go back to Rannis, which I guess makes a degree of sense. It would be nice if the game told me that, like, hey, you've done everything you need to do here, now just go back to, you know, the person you got the quest from, but fair enough. Uh, and yeah, I was kind of right. There is a guy called High Chancellor Arcado, but he's in Oblivion. I actually was kind of wondering if that was the case, again, because I couldn't remember them being in this game. Anyway, so let's go back to the Valmar's Mage's Guild, go speak to Rannis, and oh my god, get out of the way, people. Fucking idiots walking into plants. And you'll see what uh, what we have to do now. Oh, hi, hi. How wonderful! Welcome, Outlander. Yes. Uh, I guess we go with um, the spy, maybe. Okay. Just Magruzo, it's a shame that the guild is run by a scuttlehead with no sense or ambition like Trebonius. But does, doesn't he run the guild? These credentials are the worst forgery I've seen in years. Even Akato's name is misspelled. Please take these scrolls and his dagger for help in the guild. What, so I don't have to catch them? Okay, soldiering guy has been added to your inventory. Sounds pretty cool. Um, Do you have more duties for me, maybe? You have completed all the duties I have. Have you spoken to Edwina in Aldrun or Skink in Sandrith Mora? I guess we'll go back to bloody Aldrun, even though we were just there. God damn it, people. <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. Right, let's go. Wait, was it Ed Edwina, I think? Right, so out rune. What can I do for you? You can travel me to our bloody rune. So we're gonna find Edwina. Where is Edwin? It's not you. Oh, hello. An adventurer, I presume. You look. I'm not gonna lie. If you were a real person, you'd be pretty bloody hot. I mean, you're not, so you don't really do much for me. But if you were, probably, uh, you know, I'd make a pass at you, and uh, you turn me down, I'd be depressed. But that's okay. Edwina, that was convenient. Day greet you, oh, hi, hi. Well, don't just stand there. Have you found a copy of Chronicles of Nutria Left or not? Bollocks. God damn it. <laughs> I remember now. We did get a quest from them. Uh, also, someone told me, I believe it was Kaiser Finney, mentioned that if you are looking for a book, go ask a bookseller. Makes uh, well, a lot of sense. You're the person friend? who I thought was a woman. I remember now. So how do we get to where we're going? I think it was over here. I am going the wrong way, aren't I? Totally the wrong Oh, no, I'm going the right way. Good work, brain. Right, so, I know there's a bookseller in Balmora. I don't know if they're going to have what we're looking for, but I can find the place easy enough. Whereas if we try looking around Outrun, I mean, we'll find it eventually if there is a bookseller there. And there probably is. That's probably even the one we're looking for, because it would make sense, because it's near where you get the quest. But at the same time, I just don't trust myself. So, you know, since we know where this one is, let's just go in here and see what they have. Uh, so we're looking for Chronicles of Nature Left. Yes, I might have one I could sell you. I have been trying to make copies of that rare book. If I don't have one at the moment, try Jabasha's Rare Books in Vivek. Right, okay, so you're not going to have it, and I need to go there. Fair enough. Holy shit. Let's just look very slowly and see if we can find it. I'm hoping I haven't skipped over it already. I don't think I have. Holy shit. And you have a lot of books. What's that? It just says mysticism. Okay. I don't think it's any of those. Oh my Christ, are you shitting me? Um, you know what? Give me a second here to go over these. I might cut this out skip this up. Uh, never mind. I was going to say, I might cut it out, skip it or something, speed it up. That's what I was trying to say. My brain is dying whilst I'm trying to read the names of these. But we're basically done now anyway. And unsurprisingly, you don't have it. All right, so what did it say? Jabaska's Rare Books in Vivek. So we have to go to Vivek. So let's go travel to Vivek. Holy shit, we are going everywhere this episode. Like, what the hell? 
I don't know, I'm hoping that doesn't disappear before I come back, because otherwise I'm going to be very upset, because again, there's a lot of money there. But, you know, we'll worry about that another time, I guess. Right, so I'm hoping, oh Jesus, I'm hoping there's only like one bookstore in Vivek, but there's what probably a I bunch, because it's bloody huge from what I know. Well, hello there. A pleasure to meet it's you. a pleasure to meet you, too. So how do I leave this hellhole? Um, what are you doing? Well met. What is it? I vaguely remember bothering with you at some point. I think we tried to steal that book and all hell broke loose. Or was it you? Well, what yeah, but we damn, why, why do you have a cupboard here? Interesting. The hell is going on? I should probably rub that chest, but I'm very lazy. All right, so that's Trebonius. Please, yeah, Trebonius! Get out of the way, sir. You're in the way of the door. Uh, how do I leave this place, man? It's gotta be up here, right? Foreign Quarters Plaza. Looks like it, yeah. And this is the, uh, the trap chest. I, I, you know what? I'm curious to know what's in this. Uh, I guess we will use our unlock spell. Uh, what the hell was it called? That one. Uh, it's not gonna bloody work, is it? Well, I guess we have the probe if we need it. Not the probe, the, uh, the lockpick. Oh my god. Thank you. So what's in here worth being beaten up for and probably attacked? 30 gold. You know what? Oh, it killed me. Holy shit. I was just surprised that they didn't attack me. Maybe they knew I was going to die. Or maybe they really don't care. I don't know. That's, that's a really weird locked, you know, chesty thing. I guess it's like a locked box, but you know, whatever. Okay, so... Wait... We're in a building, are we not? Foreign quarters. Smith, okay. <laughs> oh, that will always amuse me. Okay, so I guess we'll try. Oh, let's not. There's a badass looking mask, man. I like that. Move along. Do you happen to know about this book, or can I ask you about the uh, the bookstore? Maybe. I'm not seeing the option. Who the hell is this? He's recently arrived from Cyrodiil. You'll likely find him inspecting the grounds at Ebenhart. Tell me about Cantons, whatever that is. I'm not telling you that's anything else, you son of a bitch. I should murder you. So what do you want? You're a red guard. I think you might be Make the first one I've quick, seen. Outlander. There is a lot of women in this game that have like these so uh, you know dark elf, this hairstyle, and sometimes with the Triple H forehead going on. So Fighters Guild, Mage's Guild, maybe? Oh no, we came from the Mage's Guild. So, if you could hurry so you're a smith as well. Sure, we'll poke our heads in here. Why the hell not? I have to end the episode pretty soon, but we'll check out the smith at least. So you got a whole bunch of shitty armor. Do you... Ooh. Oh, it's also junk. It looks very cool, though, considering how crap it is. Do you have anything interesting to sell, though? You could repair my stuff. Probably should be doing that. Actually... Yeah, it looks like he's just got, like, really low-level gear. You disgust me, sir. You disgust me. Okay, let's check out the other one, and then uh, next episode we'll make a concerted effort to actually find this bookstore so we can get the goddamn book. Yeah, I wonder what's up with this one. Is this one, like, maybe a higher grade of smith? Yeah, actually, it seems like it might be. I mean, steel is better than, like, chitin, right? Or whatever it's called, I think. I don't know. Welcome to my shop, stranger. It is good to see a paying customer, especially with all the competition these days. Ah, I'm guessing this is a quest where I can, like, help him out against the other guy, maybe? Oh, there's plenty of the. There's plenty of these days in Vivek. I mean, Raylan Tilva is my nearest competitor, and he's just a block away. And oh, the business he does. I'm certain he's doing something shady, but I don't know what it is yet. He just gets all of the big orders. Tell me about the big orders. Well, just recently I heard that he got an order for 20 different swords and at least 8 full suits of armor. I don't sell that in a month. I'd really like to get that contract for myself. You'd like to get that contract? Sure, I'd like that contract. Hmm. How would you like to help me out, friend? If you could steal that contract from Raylan, he wouldn't be able to fill the order properly. Then, when his customers show up to collect, I'll be ready with a proper order. I'll get that contract for you, buddy. Stealing's what I do. Excellent. I knew you were a person who understood a good deal when you heard one. He's probably got the contract locked up in his private quarters beneath his shop. But I don't think he's got it well guarded. Good luck. And uh, what are you selling? 
Yeah, you gain. Like, he's just got better shit. I mean, you can look at it one way. The, the reason he has better shit is because the other guy did have better shit, but he sold it all. That would make sense. But, like, just look, comparing them? This guy kicks the other guy's ass. Like, what the hell? Arrows of Wasting Flame. I mean, we don't use archery, but if we did, that'd be pretty cool. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, again, it's like nothing special, but straight up better than the other guy. Get that contracts. Alrighty, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, the best way to show your support is by clicking the like button. And I will see you next time for more Morrowind.